In this video, I'll be sharing with you my favorite panko crusted salmon recipe. What's good everyone? If this is the first time we're meeting, my name is Philip Lemoyne and I'm actually a full-time cinematographer, but I love to cook. On this channel, I'm not only posting cooking videos with some of my favorite tried and true recipes, but I also share videos with tips and strategies to make your own cooking videos. I'm actually filming this video on my phone. So if you wanna see how I produce it, make sure you subscribe so you can check that video out as soon as it drops. So I love making this panko crusted salmon recipe because it's super quick to make, and it has a lot of great lemon flavor in the panko crusted top. What's cool is that you can make this dish in advance and then you can always reheat it when you wanna eat, even the next day. The ingredients for this dish are gonna be two to three thick cut fillets of salmon, about four to six ounces each with the skin on, about a half a cup of panko Japanese breadcrumbs, one tablespoon freshly minced parsley, and one teaspoon fresh minced thyme, Dijon or honey mustard, the zest of one whole lemon, salt and pepper to your liking, and about two tablespoons of olive oil. The first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is preheat your oven to 425 degrees. In a bowl, I'm gonna go ahead and mix my minced herbs with the panko. I'll then zest my lemon right into the bowl. I'll also add a pinch of salt and pepper. I'll add the olive oil and stir everything together till it's all incorporated. Next, I'm gonna season the salmon with salt and pepper, then spread a nice thick coating of Dijon mustard on top. This is gonna help our panko mixture stick to the salmon. After that, I'll use my clean hands to sprinkle and pack a generous amount of panko onto the salmon, as much as I can get to stay. This stuff is good. Next, I'm gonna throw a cast iron skillet onto the stove over medium high heat. I'll add a little vegetable oil, and once it's hot, I'll gently place the salmon skin side down and let it cook for exactly four minutes. Once the time is up, I'll transfer this into the hot oven and let it continue to cook for another seven to 10 minutes. I'll check on the salmon when it's been in the oven for about five minutes. I use this digital probe thermometer to check the temperature. I love this thing because it has a thin pointy end that lets you poke easily into your protein. There's nothing worse than overcooked fish and this thing has saved my life every single time. I'll be sure to put a link in the description if you wanna pick yourself up one. I like my salmon more on the medium-ish side. So once the thickest part of the salmon reaches 125 degrees, I'll pull my salmon from the oven. How do you like your salmon? Leave a comment below to let us know. Let them rest for five to 10 minutes and they'll still continue to cook till it gets to about the 130-ish degree mark. And there it is, my friends, perfectly cooked panko crusted salmon. The outside is nice and golden brown. The inside is still flaky and pink. Like I mentioned earlier, I shot, edited, and uploaded this entire video on my iPhone. If you're like me and enjoy making cooking videos but wanna up your video production game, check out my YouTube channel. I have a whole entire series coming out with tips to make professional YouTube cooking videos using your camera phone. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can catch it when it drops, or I'll put a link in the description so you can check it out. If you'd like to dive deeper into how I produce my cooking videos and how you can do it with your phone, make sure you check out my full in-depth video cooking course. If you wanna catch more of those when they drop, make sure you subscribe. And thank you guys so much again for watching. Aloha.